Eric on this video for Close Trade Tuesday, 21st of May 2013. Hope you had a good day's trading. Another nice little day, and it's actually a doji uh, pattern day. Uh, 1665 here, 1 1.5 million contracts traded. Just blow this up, and you can see the open and close were identical, and it's kind of 50 50 in terms of the range top and bottom below the uh, open and close. Classic little pattern. Um, doji patterns in places like this. Uh, can show potential turning points. They're kind of showing indecision. And we had some big swings uh, actually uh, nicely marked on the 1500 tip bar chart. And that's what I'm going to show you. So, and a repeat of yesterday with Rambo patterns. I'm going to show you that as well. This is yesterday. And I said this kind of move where we were going down with all these Rambo patterns, very unusual. And the amateurs are leading this whole thing. And then they're, they're not they're not right I'm afraid so 61 down here overnight we came in just before the open we had this uh, testing back down with blue professional bars you can see right into the where those amateurs were kind of down here very weak selling and bang we break the highs of those blue professional bars and we go for a little spin to the upside so there we go a nice move support all the way to a pullback to end of trend sequence kind of up here and then after that we headed all the way down again same deal look at this all these Rambo patterns coming on the 1500 uh, show you this on the 40 same thing. Here's the Rambo patterns yesterday, the Rambo patterns today at 61. I mean, the amateurs just want to sell this thing and, and see it's over. And I'm sorry, but uh, they keep on getting wrong footed. So after that, we have pullback to end of trend. We've had our exhaustion selling kind of on this left shoulder. Would have been nicer to see it, at, you know, kind of here, but happened here. Bullish divergence is in. The amateurs are kind of wanting this to break thing, break down. And the blue professional bars step in there right at the lows. Pull back to end of trend, bullish divergence, and we set off to the upside. And then the top of the day is marked by another pullback to end of trend. So it's three of these today on the 1500. You know, top of this move, bottom of this move, top of the next move. This one was kind of a bit more of a classic. So you can see here uh, exhaustion uh, buying on a left shoulder come back to test uh, blue professional bars that's where the professionals are really exiting finally at 72 pull back to end of trend and then we fall off these kind of testing up bars amateur up bars into bearish divergence and then we've dropped below a support line so potentially went to a little bit of a stronger kind of downtrend here but it was an interesting day from you know a couple of perspectives first all these rambo patterns just like yesterday Again, the 4,500 tip bar chart, bang, bang, getting uh, wrong footed. But now with this kind of move up here, we've got exhaustion buying. The blue professional bars have come on the 1,500. Got a little bit more of a, a chance of this thing kind of starting to, to falter, particularly because it was a doji uh, kind of pattern day. So uh, a lot of us uncertainty. This kind of big swings, big kind of volatilities tends to happen you know, at, at turning points because, you know, people are getting wrong footed and, and uh, the professionals are using that volatility to kind of confuse people and get positioned. So let's see if we get a little bit of kind of a weakness after that. Um, I must admit, I had a really nice day's trading, got uh, long first thing in the morning, 66 and a quarter, uh, because we had broken above uh, resistance on the 1500 tip bar chart and the 500. Let me show you that. So we've broken above resistance. We came in at this little support line here on 500 and um, it was resistance become support on 15 we bounce off that bang so I went long 66 and a quarter there weren't any blue professional bars on those two time frames to kind of give me a better kind of clue uh, but you know we were getting continuation from here we'd broken into an uptrend so I just jumped on board uh, got out at 70.25 my four points now then we had this pullback to under trend these blue professional bars kind of coming up the highs on the 4500 tip bar chart cyclical resistance blue professional bars here it was an exhaustion on uh, 1500 um, and so I took a little bit of a speculative kind of short at 68 because this blue professional bar got kind of broken to the downside and I'll show you on the 500 tip bar chart we had the blue professional bars kind of broken to the downside a little bit of a retrace up an amateur up bar that was weak we came back and as soon as we were kind of uh, coming back and crossing that support line into a downtrend I went to short at 68 I was unsure about it first of all but then it just immediately kind of got sold off went in my direction I picked off another three points on the way down here it was good for quite a bit more but that was fine you know I was quite happy with that because it happened so quickly uh, anyway so where we're going tomorrow uh, not sure um, you know we keep on seeing these Rambo patterns you know kind of this is overnight so it, it's less kind of um, reliable because the indicator during the uh, beginning of that overnight session is just kind of recalibrating with the lower volumes that are going through overnight so kind of wait wait and see but we've had quite a little bit of weakness here on the higher time frame tick bar charts let me show you this the 40,500 let me just uh, close this one up 
um, you know, we're playing around this pullback to end of trend. We keep on you know, coming up here. It's very weak kind of buying going on. So we could have a little bit of a sell-off uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, but kind of wait and see. And I hope your trading is going well. See how even. Short 68 even. Let's check my stops and targets. And the reason for getting short, a bit of a wimp it out with this uh, kind of pullback to end of trend. Blue professional bars kind of came in at the highs. On the higher time frames, 13,500, you can see a cyclical resistance coming in, which is an end of trend. It's kind of where we uh, kind of got to yesterday with blue professional bar. So it's kind of a natural place to find a little bit of resistance. So uh, breaking a support on 500, and had this amateur up bar breaking down of that. Cyclical support sometime will be due on 1500. Um, let's just see if we get a continuation on the way down here and breaks into a trend move. So, see, Lee, we just collapsed down. Blue professional bar came in, bang, just hit it all the way down. So, target 64. It's a long way away. I'm going to move that to 65. Already got my four. So, see if we can just pick up some more here. We've got cyclical support to you on 1500. Minus 12,000 here is bigger than another blue professional down bar kind of here. Let's see what they're doing with the. Interested in picking it up. Or if they're selling it down. We're in downtrend now on 500, so it's got to run pullback to end of trend. So let's see. 66 now. Did look like they were selling it down here. So so target 65 even, we've got minus 9,000, 12,000 here, the biggish readings. So we'll get some kind of uh, left shoulder exhaustion type move. Come on. Numbers here, so low for those, they were 65 even on the opening bar. So we've got exhaustion selling here. So blue professional up bar, so getting in on the retrace. So still got to go pull back to end of trend, just need another spike down 65, which is kind of a natural place. We've got a bounce. Just taken out, we just rolled through it. So the original target 64 got hit. Whoa, so for another three, excellent. Um, I'm surprised at that one, I didn't think it would uh, happen so quickly, but anyway. So maxed out, pull back to under trend, blue professional bars kind of came in, then broke that support bar, bang, into a downtrend. Excellent. So uh, one shot, one kill on first, tra first trade, and then another three points on the second. Nine, twelve. I am definitely done. Good day.